Hello, welcome to English for Everyone, where we practice real life American English. Today we're going to learn a great expression, so let's get started. Today we're learning this expression fly off the handle. When you fly off the handle, it means you get upset, you get angry, and it's usually in a situation where you're overreacting. Maybe it's a little irrational. You're overreacting, you're getting upset fast, you're getting upset suddenly. You fly off the handle. So if I see you're getting upset very fast and you're overreacting, maybe it's a smaller problem than you think, I can say, don't fly off the handle. It's going to be okay. Don't overreact. Basically, it means I fly off the handle for no reason. Hey, like I just fly off the handle for no good reason. I know sometimes I tend to fly off the handle. No, oh, sure, I fly off the handle, but there's nothing wrong with me. And Lonnie, Lonnie, oh. don't fly off the handle. Come in here, come here. Please. Don't fly off the handle, sir. And we use the verb fly in the past. We change it to flew. Flew off the handle. He got really upset really fast over something that wasn't that important. I can say he flew off the handle. Let's hear some examples. No, I'm tired. So I guess that's why I flew off the handle. I flew off the handle. We can also change this expression a little bit and say don't go flying off the handle. Don't go flying off the handle or he's always flying off the handle. Let's hear some examples. Before you all start flying off the handle with, oh, Mike, how can you be so heartless? It to you because you're always flying off the handle and jumping to conclusions, and I did not say a damn thing about moving. No flying off the handle like you usually do. Stop it. We're not going to get anywhere with you flying off the handle. What? Now let me finish, okay? And don't go flying off the handle. Example, he's getting really upset, and the situation is not that big of a deal. So I can say... He's flying off the handle. And he shouldn't fly off the handle because the situation is not that bad. Let's practice. Is he flying off the handle? That's right. He's flying off the handle. Should he fly off the handle? That's right. He shouldn't fly off the handle. He should calm down. Or I can say in the past, he flew off the handle when he heard the news. Let's practice. Did he fly off the handle when he heard the news? That's right. He flew off the handle when he heard the news. He got really upset really fast. Today we're learning this expression. Tie the knot. Tie the knot. What is a knot? This is a knot. And the action is tie. You tie a knot. But if I say tie the knot, it can mean something completely different. We use the expression tie the knot, meaning to get married. That's right. Tie the knot means get married. If you're not married, I can say, are you ready to tie the knot? Meaning, are you ready to get married? And you say, no, I'm too young. I'm not ready to tie the knot. Let's hear some examples. Now my Sadie Jones is going to tie the knot. I am. When you're ready to tie the knot... I know the perfect wedding planner. These two lovebirds are finally tying the knot. But don't ask Miss Lane when they're tying the knot because she hates that question. She wants to tie the knot as much as you do. Don't forget that. It's great to see so many people turn up to see Josh finally tie the knot. I had to find out before we tied the knot. He and Miss Getz tied the knot in Vegas after Comdex, 1979. They were young programmers. They our friend Hazelnut is tying the knot on Sunday. Yeah? Oh. So, all right. So long, jerk-offs. So, he's 21 years old. He just finished college. And he's young. He's not ready to get married. He's not ready to tie the knot. Let's practice. Is he ready to tie the knot? That's right. He's not ready to tie the knot. He's too young. He's not ready to get married. Example, they've been dating for two years, and they're ready to get married. So I can say, they're ready to tie the knot. Let's practice. They've been dating for two years. Are they ready to tie the knot? That's right. They're ready to tie the knot. So remember the expression, tie the knot. It can mean tie a knot, or it can mean get married. We use it in both ways. Today we're learning this expression, to smithereens. Pronunciation, the two is pronounced t, t. And smithereens 
The TH makes the voiced sound like father and mother. Smithereens. Smithereens. What does it mean to smithereens? Well, we need a verb. For example, blow. Blow in the past blue and the participle blown. Blown to smithereens. It means something was destroyed. We're not talking about blow like the wind blows. We're talking about blow like exploded, like blown up. But we don't say up. We just say, the building was blown to smithereens. It means it exploded, and it was destroyed completely. Why do we say to smithereens? It means to tiny pieces or to nothing, because it was completely destroyed. It was blown to smithereens. You can also use the verb smash. Smash. In the past, smashed. And the participle smashed. It was smashed to smithereens. It was completely destroyed. Let's hear some examples. Enterprise will be getting blown to smithereens in about how long, Mrs. McGruber? Heard of but you, you weren't, in fact, blown to smithereens. She told me that sweet little painting above the bar, uh, two moose hunters in a canoe, smashed to smithereens. There's this huge reclining Buddha that was blown to smithereens during the war. Example, the building was bombed. They dropped a bomb on the building, so I can say the building was blown to smithereens. Let's practice. What happened to the building? Was it blown to smithereens? That's right. The building was blown to smithereens. So remember the expression, blown to smithereens or smashed to smithereens. Completely destroyed. Either with an explosion, like blown to smithereens, or smashed, like it was crushed, smashed to smithereens. Thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, subscribe to our channel. And if you want to become a member, click the join button. And we'll see you next time.